Well, we're in Greece today, Santorini to be exact. This is a commission I'm doing. It's based on a painting that I have previously done. I showed you in the very first of the video my painting setup so that you can see the laptop with my reference material and the canvas and, and how everything's set up so that I can look at my reference material while I paint. I start with the sky because this is, it's the furthest back in the painting. The sky sets the tone for the rest of the painting too. So anyway, I have first, I sketched up my composition on the canvas with a oil wash of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I mix liquid into that to make a thin oil wash. And that I drew in my whole composition. I established the light and dark values. And this is dry now, so I can now paint. If I get paint over my sketch, it's very easy to go back and just wipe it off the canvas with tissue. I'm starting the sky. The upper part of the sky is ultramarine blue plus white. And this is going to be a sunset, but you still get some blue in the upper part of the sky. We're going to have oranges and golds and purple clouds and I want the top part of my sky to still be a little bit blue. A little bit darker than like a midday midday sky, but just cover my canvas with this. And this is ultramarine blue plus white. here too. If you paint as many hours as I do, you begin to feel the strain on your arm and shoulder. And so I have learned to mix my paints left-handed so that I'm right-handed. So that takes some of the stress off of my shoulder and wrist and elbow. And then there are times when I also do a little bit of the big bold brush work with my left hand. I can't do anything fine, but at least I can do some of the block in with that. So I've got my upper part of the canvas covered. And notice I clean, keep cleaning my brush with tissue. This is the secret to nice, clean, crisp color on your canvas is a clean brush. I want to go back. I don't like some of the brush strokes. Kind of watch how your brush strokes are because a lot of times lighting on paintings will cause glare and if you've got some kind of strange brush strokes in there, it looks funny. Okay, along now I'm going to work a little bit of phthalo blue plus white in here. Just as the sky comes closer to the horizon, it gets a little bit warmer, the earth influences the color of the sky. So I just want this blue to be a little bit a little warmer. The phthalo blue just makes it a little bit greener, a little bit that that makes it a little bit warmer. I don't want want much. And once I get this in, then I'll come back and with a clean brush and smooth that transition. Wash out my brush. I use thinner. I use turpenoid, odorless thinner. That way I don't get that smell in my studio because my studio is in the living room of our home and I don't want that smell throughout the house. So the turpenoid, odorless paint thinner just works wonderfully for that. See, I can just smooth that transition. It's not it's not real apparent that the sky gets lighter there, but it's just, just very faint. Now toward the horizon, the sky is oranger, and so I'm going to start working this. This is a mixture of white, plus a little bit of mud, plus alizarin crimson, plus some cadmium orange. 
And I mix my cadmium orange. I mix a combination of two parts of cadmium yellow medium and one part of cadmium red light. And that just gives me a nice, that gives me cadmium orange. For some odd reason, every time I've gone to order paint lately, all they've had is the cadmium orange hue, which I don't like because as you mix white into it, it turns pink. It's not a true orange. They've been out of the cadmium orange. I use Winton um, paints. These are made by Winsor Newton. It's Winton oil color. I get it in the 200 millimeter, milliliter tubes. And it, this is a wonderful paint. Uh, it's a student grade. They call it a student grade paint. I'm not sure what they mean by that, but we have used this paint for years and never had a problem with it. Jack has used these Winton oil colors on $60,000 portraits. So it's a, it's a good paint and we use a lot of it. But anyway, when you're getting cadmium orange, if you cannot get the cadmium orange itself, don't get the hue, just get some cadmium yellow medium and some cadmium red light and you can mix your own cadmium orange. Now you can see I have indicated where my sun's going to be. So the area around the sun is going to be, it becomes lighter and brighter. So we get our, get some of this in here. And now I'm coming in. This mixture is has no mud in it. And this is cadmium orange plus alizarin crimson plus white. You can see it's a little brighter. Just come along my horizon here. I soften that into the the darker. Now right under the sun, this is a lighter mixture of the cadmium orange mixture. I've added more white into that. And now above the clouds, there's going to be a band of clouds in here, but above the clouds, I'm taking the lighter mixture and I'm going to work this into the blue. As the color comes up, as we get further away from the horizon, this is going to be lighter, this orange, so we're using the lighter orange into that, into my sky up here. Not worried about this area here because I'm going to have clouds. This, I'll work more on feathering that into the blue. Now I clean my brush, dip it in the thinner, kind of swish it around, and then wipe it out with the tissue paper. Now I start to feather those colors together. It doesn't have to be entirely smooth because there's little clouds up here that catch into the blue. Keep cleaning my brush. Now I'm 
going to clean this up a little bit right in here. I want this smoother. That transition to be smoother. Now we'll make our clouds. And the clouds will be, this is a mixture of my mud plus a little bit of alizarin crimson plus white. And as they come closer to the sun, they become lighter and a little bit redder. And we're going to let the cloud kind of break into the sun there. And then we're going to bring another little cloud, a band of clouds down here. And then those clouds darken into that dark area. Now on this side, we'll do the same thing. We're going to have a cloud here. Then as we get further to the other side, we're going to, this is going to become darker. of cadmium yellow medium plus a tiny bit of cadmium orange plus white. And the sun then is here. And I'm even going to make a little lighter mix of that. We're in the intense center of the sun here. And how it just kind of breaks that cloud. Now as we come out, we get some of this lighter mix. Oops, now I picked up some of my cloud color on my brush there, and I don't want that dirty here, so I just can scrape this off. Clean my brush out real well. You have to be very careful that you don't pick up some of that dark color. So I'm going to come back with my, my orange here. And now I want to lighten that sky around that with my cadmium orange plus cadmium yellow medium mixture. Be real careful not to pick up some of that purple from the clouds. But the sky, the sun just ble bleaches out the sky around it. You have to be real careful in there. And we're going to get some of that in here. And then this, I'm going to save all of my sky colors because that color is going to reflect down into the water. So I need to save these colors. Save these mixtures. Because that all reflects down into the water. A little bit bigger brush here. And just bring some of this. Again, I have to be very careful not to pick up some of that purple on my brush. In fact, what I do when I make that little line along the purple, I just make sure to clean my brush so that I don't get, get this color dirty. So you want your colors to be really nice and crisp and pretty and clean. I'll finish this part of the sky. I don't have enough time right now on this video. but. You get the general idea of how I do this. 
The sky is blocked in. Now I still need to come back and do some finish work. But I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please, please subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting, as well as others that I do. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my video. So again, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And just be an encourager today. Help somebody. Just give them a good word. Tell them they're doing a good job. You have a great day, and thank you again.